What's going on guys, here with Tech, and welcome finally to the Pokemon Platinum Egglog. That's right guys, so excited for this, but before we get started, I have three things I really quickly need to talk about. The first one is, of course, this video is a part of Team Caterpie Takeover, and because this is a new series, let's shoot for a new goal. 300 likes, you guys will have to get another video just 12 hours from now. I truly believe you guys can hit that, and you may have noticed I may not, I did not have videos over the past two days. One, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and, well, that's not an excuse, I didn't do anything for Thanksgiving, but... Uh, the past few days have been really shitty for me, and those of you who follow on Twitter probably know why, so that's why I always suggest following Twitter. Um, I refuse to make videos when I'm in a bad mood or I'm in like a bad place mentally. I only make videos when I'm happy and I'm in a good mood, because otherwise videos are going to suck. So, and I apologize for that. I know, like, every time I seem to get on a roll with this stuff, with the Team Academy Takeover, something happens, and it's so frustrating. But now, everything seems to be perfect, so it should go better from now. Thing number two is this video is actually, this entire series actually, is a tribute to one of my two favorite Let's Players of all time, being Black Light Attack. He did a Pokemon Platinum Anglock a while ago, and uh, he also did a Pokemon Leaf Green Nuzlocke, which we're doing a tribute to on live stream because I've been doing a live Leaf Green Nuzlocke over on twitch.tv slash yo. Just saying. Anyway, so I highly suggest you guys go watch Black Light Attack's Platinum Anglock. He doesn't make videos anymore, sadly, but I think that's like one of the best series he's done. Also, like Super Mario Sunshine is really good and his leaf green nose lock is really, he's just he's really awesome i wish he still made videos but oh well anyways i'm paying tribute to him because he's the reason i'm making pokemon videos in the first place and finally you guys can play along with me too because down in the link down in the link down in the description there's a link to the save file comes with all of these eggs where's where where's my save file Okay, so it seems in the process of getting the save file ready to give to you guys, I was smart and accidentally deleted mine, so very glad it's already up on Dropbox. There's a link down in the description to take you to Dropbox where you can download the save file and play along with me. It already comes with all of the eggs, all 995 rare candies, and those of you who followed me on Twitter actually got to get this early because I linked the the save file on Twitter right before I recorded this, so um, anybody who follows me on Twitter once again knows when I'm not going to be making videos, and they get things early, like I sometimes show little clips of videos early there, linking the save file, or like, um, what, six hours before the video is going to go live on YouTube, so just saying, and unfortunately playing through this you do have to, um, I, I don't know if there's any programs that can change the player's name, maybe Pokegen can do it, but the rivals can be nicknamed Spizzles, and I really don't think anyone's gonna mind that because who doesn't just want to beat up Spizzles occasionally, I mean it makes me very happy, so... Um, when I was, like, right before this, I was thinking, you know, I kind of want to do, a, like, a Nuzlocke where I, I take inspiration from my Explorers of Sky Let's Play I did on my old channel. Because in my opinion, that was one of the best Let's Plays I ever did. I absolutely loved that series. And in that one, I, like, gave all the different characters, well, characters, you know, like, read dialogue, got really into the game. And I'm like, I want to try that again with my Egglock. Like, hey, give all these different characters actual personalities and stuff. And so far, I've completely ignored literally every single thing anybody said, so... I'm not making good progress so far, am I? That's rather unfortunate. Here I'm like, like literally right before this, I, I decided like to take a shower before this because one, I looked absolutely horrible and I'm like, I will wash away all the bad thoughts I've had over the past few days, wash away the horrible feeling of getting swept by a ho-ho and heart gold and realizing later on I literally could have just ran from the battle if it would have let me. And then a flinch caused me to lose a wedlock, a freaking flinch. That was so frustrating. Just wash away all those bad memories and wash right into a new series I guess I don't know where I was going with that guys I sometimes I start talking but I don't ever have things planned out when I start talking and I just kind of hope that like I don't even know what the end of the sentence is gonna be I had no idea I was just gonna interrupt myself there I literally just played all my year like 100% improv 99% at a time does that even make sense? I don't know. I didn't have that 99% part planned out. I just literally just came out of my mouth. And that's, like, why I wanted to do the dialogue for the characters. And just, like, give them personalities and improv just random things. Because apparently I never know what I'm going to say. But it doesn't always go as well when I'm actually reading dialogue. Because I'm just reading what I think. And, like, I'll think, oh, i got to think of something fancy and funny to put here. And I can't think of anything fancy and funny. Which just makes me feel even more awkward. Because I'm just like, oh, God, what do I do? What do I say? Ah, I don't know. Anyways, so um, if you guys are playing along with the save file, you notice that there is, I think, seven boxes full of Pokemon. Um, this originally, the original plan was to fill up ten boxes. Uh, we got more than enough emails to do that, but a large portion of people surprisingly did things wrong. Um, either they would send back the save files with just nothing there, which I assume they just didn't save, and then just sent the file back to me unedited. Um, a lot of people somehow, like, one person somehow managed to send me a text file. I opened a text file and there was just nothing there. Like, it was named PokemonPlatinum.txt. 
I don't know how they manage that. A lot of people sent back files with no extensions, and I was like, how did that happen? And I would try, like, changing it to a DSV extension, which is the um, extension that Desmume uses, which is the emulator I use, and that wouldn't work either. And I was like, well, crap. And um, that was the main thing, is that I got a lot of them that just didn't have extensions, and I have no idea how people could have caused that unless they... Yeah, because they weren't even renamed. Well, I mean, actually, half the time they were renamed. Like, it just wasn't just Pokemon Platinum. So, if I imagine, like, what happened is they were renaming the file and they, like, just got rid of the extension when renaming it. So, it just became, like, a basic file that did nothing. And when they sent it to me, I guess, you know, I don't know how computers work a lot of times. Like, I know how computers work, but I don't know how a computer works. So... I guess when they sent it to me, it's just some like random empty file because it would it would the size is only like one byte or something like or one kilobyte, and I think the average save file is like fifty six or two hundred fifty six kilobytes or something. So or two hundred fifty six bytes. I don't know. Bytes confuse me. Like there's bytes, and then there I think it's bits. There's like the b i t s, and there's b y t s, and they're just like why? Why couldn't you just come up with a different word, changing the i for a y? Why do we just not make this any easier? It's very confusing. So the thing I was trying to get at here is um, there should be like seven boxes full of Pokemon. There's actually quite a few duplicates, which I was quite sad about. Um, but uh, I did this before I started importing the eggs. So if you go all the way down to box 10, you'll actually find a whole box of eggs there. Well, it's like half a box. And that includes all the different starters from Generation 1 to 4. And that's the one of the Pokemon that we're going to swap out for our starter Pokemon. And don't worry, I have no ideas what, because I did all, like, when I was putting the eggs in, I just put them in random places and started shuffling them around. So I have absolutely no idea. And to make it even better, just to Case somewhere in my brain it's actually a part of me kind of remembers what why am I walking the other way I'm not even paying attention to the game this is supposed to be about Pokemon Platinum and I don't even think I mentioned it once I'm sorry okay what starter should we choose it doesn't really matter because it's gonna be swapped out but I'm thinking more of what do I want my rival to have and I'm thinking I want my rival to have Turtwig no tur yeah Turtwig I want my rival to have Turtwig so I should take Piplup, which, fun fact, Piplup was the Pokemon I used my very first playthrough of a Sinnoh game. Way back when in Diamond and Pearl came out, I had pre-ordered Pearl, which looking back, I don't know why, because I actually prefer, I think I prefer Diamond, I don't know, like, Diamond and Pearl is the one, like, set of games I don't really have, like, a clear bias over, like, I prefer Red over Blue, I prefer Silver over Gold, I prefer Ruby over Sapphire, I prefer Black over White, I prefer Y over X, I prefer Omega Ruby over Alpha Sapphire, I prefer Heart Gold over Soul, no, I prefer Soul Silver over Heart Gold. Yeah, Diamond and Pearl, it's just kind of like, meh, right there. Like, usually I base it off the mascot. Like, I like Charizard more than Blastoise. Um, I like Char... Well, I, I, I don't know. I like Bulbasaur more than Charmander, but I think I like Charizard more than Venusaur. I'm, like, confusing myself now. What was I even talking about? Yeah, Palkia and Dialga, I just have, like, no attachment to either one. Like, they're just kind of there, and I don't really, like, feel... In I just kind of feel indifferent to both of them. I think I picked Pearl because... I don't know, I guess deep down, I guess I like Pearl better, just, eh, I guess I like Palkia more than Dialga. Also, I always get Palkia and Dialga confused, which is something that's very frustrating. Like, there, I know Palkia is the pink one, Dialga is the blue one, and for the longest time, I also get their, um, types confused. Like, Palkia is Water Dragon. Water Dragon! Why is he a Water Dragon type? I don't freaking know. Dialga's a uh, Dragon Steel, that one's not that hard to get, because it looks steel. Palkia doesn't look Water type at all. Palkia, maybe I can get, like... Or dragon psychic or something like it's pink psychic is kind of pink this is for the introduction of fairy i have no idea why it's a water type that confused me if anything dialga looks more water type than palkia but um oh my god if he keeps withdrawing this might actually be a bit of an issue so anyways, if you guys somehow don't know how egg locks work, which I was so surprised. By this point, like, every freaking YouTuber has done an egg lock by now, right? Or at least every YouTuber who has, like, enough of a fan base to be able to do a decent egg lock has done one by now. And you'd think, like, everyone in the Pokemon community would have submitted an egg to someone by now, yet every time I do an egg lock, and especially with this one, there's always people like, yeah, this is my first time doing it, I hope I did it right. And it's so weird to think, out of all the different egg locks that have been done on YouTube... Like, if, of everybody, every freaking Pokétuber has done egg locks by now, multiple egg locks, and there's always people doing it for their very first time, and it, it made me feel really special that, like, they chose my egg lock to do it for the first time, and, and I don't know, if, I, I would assume they were telling the truth, I mean, I'd be, I guess I'd be kind of sad if they were, like, lying about that, oh my god, we're gonna lose this battle. 
We're gonna lose this battle. We have like five turns to kill this thing. This is bad. Okay, okay. We can do it. If we got a crit, that'd be awesome. He's doing three, so we could take three more, and then we'll have two HP. So we could take four more. Total. Oh my god, are we gonna lose the egg lock right now? This would be. Oh god. Pipla, please. Pipla, please. That's always happens every time I choose Pipla. This is why I'm like, hey, maybe I should choose Pipla, because I'm always gonna freaking get swept by the turn tour because he just spams with draws. Oh my god, one more tackle. <gasps> he missed the tackle. That was actually. Not... I don't think that was that vital, because I think this pound will kill. Oh, thank you. Okay, that tackle missing didn't matter. That was so intense. We're like 12 minutes into this. It was already that intense. Holy crap. Whew. That was exciting. Um, anyways, as I was going to say, if you guys have never seen Egglock before, basically the way this works is it's standard Nuzlocke rules, which is you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter each area. If a Pokemon faints, it is dead and it is, you can't use it anymore. Um, it, it did non-official, but basically abided rule is you have to nickname your Pokemon. Although I think every Let's Play ever nicknames their Pokemon, so... Just saying. And, um... The difference where the egg lock comes in is we have a bunch of boxes full with, with eggs. And every time we catch a wild Pokemon, it's going to act as a voucher as we turn it in for just a randomly selected egg out of our seven boxes donated by you guys, the viewers. Well, not all of you, obviously. I think we got, like... 400 submissions or something which um is obviously not everyone who's watching right now but um oh i gotta put the tech speed to fast this is driving me insane ever since like i discovered the fast tech setting i can't freaking use the normal setting because it goes so slow and when i was a kid i didn't even know the fast setting was a thing and i would always just like constantly hold down a and i'm surprised the a button oh my god did i just oh did i just press a again i pressed a too many times this is why i need to put it on the fast setting i have to listen to this crap again are you kidding me i'm doing that right now right now Oh my god. Yes. Switch. Okay. Basically, we act, um, we use that Pokemon as a voucher to redeem it for an egg. And whatever the egg hatches, we'll use rare candies to get it up to the same level as the voucher Pokemon. And then we'll just use those Pokemon instead. So this can be completely random. The only thing I know for sure is we will be starting the game with a starter Pokemon. Because, like I said, over in Box 10, there is a box entirely of starter Pokemon. I was originally going to give them their Dream World abilities just to make it kind of, um, different. But then I realized, oh, that's right, Dream World abilities weren't a thing in Generation 4. So I could couldn't but i did give each starter pokemon a little egg move i don't i didn't give them any like overpowered egg moves but i didn't give them anything completely useless either like i think charmander has metal claw sorry if this is spoilers by the way um charmander has metal claw i think bulbasaur has like sludge it's just useful moves that they wouldn't normally learn by level up they could help me out in the game so i figured why not it can help you guys out so I, I think that might not be true about them learning it normally in the game i think a few pokemon have egg moves that they just would also naturally learn which makes me think why do you have an egg move that's also a level up move because you could pass down level up moves so i put it in the egg move category as well oh i'm confused i guess there's the same way how you could have a move on the tm well i mean if you're gonna learn a move by level up and it's on the tm list you think you'd be like guaranteed to have it on the tm list like that'd be really weird if you can't learn it by tm but you can learn it by level up like are you just afraid of technology or something Hmm? Are you afraid to say, like, hey, oh, well, also, by the way, I personally play, normally I play by, like, um, a Nuzlocke start as soon as you start the game. So, this encounter means we're not actually getting a Pokemon on this route. A lot of times, that's always something very controversial, is people always get in debates about does it start when you first start the game? Does it start when you get Pokeballs? There's no right or wrong rule with this, okay? The guy who invented the Nuzlocke didn't specify either way, so it's usually just a user-selected thing, and pretty much every single thing with a Nuzlocke, with the exception of when a Pokemon faints, it's dead, and you have to catch the first Pokemon in each route, everything else is user-specified. Like, every single other rule is something that you can decide and modify the Nuzlocke into your own version. I personally like to play that the Nuzlocke starts right when you start the game. Admittedly, I have done some series where it starts when you get Pokeballs instead. Uh, my personal preference is just starting when you start the game, and like I said, unfortunately because of that, we aren't getting a Pokemon on that last route, which isn't a big deal. It happens, so... Um, and please, just don't get in a debate in the comments, because literally every time I start a series, when I do it... Where it starts right when you start the game, people always get in a war about this. Oh, I got a nickname Piplup. Um, no. I don't want to. Huh. Oh, I see. Are you happy with that nickname? That I, His nickname is Blank, because he is nothing to us besides a voucher. That is so symbolic, and I didn't even mean for it to happen. Yes, I'm happy. Oh, when I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass, I thought, wow, these kids are kind of dumb. I was astounded by the fool. Ah! Full Hardy! Ah! He mentioned, he mentioned my name! 
Oh my god, I've never noticed that in all the times I've been... I'm so flattered right now. Oh my god. Thank you very much. Oh, dude. Wow. Shout out much? Thank you. <laughs> it's like he knows that I am playing this right now. But now you've astounded me in the fact that you've walked from one town to the other with just running away from... Why do you need a Pokemon to run away from Pokemon? It's not like your Pokemon is doing anything when you're running away. You're just like literally picking up the Piplup, like dragging it by its fur and you're like, Get the shit out of here. Oh my god, we're gonna die. Why do you need a Pokemon for that? Like, how does anyone get anywhere? If you don't have a Pokemon, are you literally just trapped in your town? Because this is a horrible thing to think about. And I was starting to get into the dialogue, and now I'm just completely ignoring it again. And I'm just... I can't make up my mind on what I should do. Because I really, like, want to give these characters personalities, but I kind of just rant on and on and on. And, like, the one problem with Explores the Sky is oftentimes, like, between breaks of dialogue... That wouldn't be very long, like I'd maybe have a minute or so. I either couldn't think of anything to talk about, or I'd start talking about something where I wouldn't be done in a minute, and I'd either have to just like abruptly stop that topic, or just ignore the dialogue. I hate getting in those situations, but I feel so torn right now, and I don't like it. I don't like being torn at all, because I personally, I like Let's Plays where people, um, he, ugh, they have to do like a combination, like Black White Attack does it perfectly, where he gets into the game because he does the dialogue a lot and he like gets into the characters and gives them personalities and stuff, but he also doesn't focus on the game. Like, I've grown really bored of a lot of Let's Players because they basically just tell you what's going on in the game. Like, um, I, and I'm not gonna say any names here because I don't want to throw anybody under the bus, but a lot of times they'll just be like, oh, I'm gonna go here, oh, look, it's a Pidgey, I just killed a Pidgey, blah, 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 oh, the Pidgey did this and that, and they don't really show you them, and that's why, like, I don't do it on purpose, but a lot of times I'll just rant about random stuff and... Maybe that's why a lot of these people are, are really popular, because they just talk about random stuff and oftentimes don't really show you their personality. Like, I've just ranted you about how... I don't even remember what I ranted you about. I don't know. See, my personalities, I can't remember anything. Where am I? What's going on? I don't know. I'm confused. Anyways. Just... I hate... And, and I do that a lot on the scoreboard, but I think scoreboard is completely different. Because scoreboard is actually, like, focused on the game. Like, I have to talk... It's competitive Pokemon battling. I have to I just think out my thoughts out loud and hope that anything I think might actually turn out to be a good strategy and that's why I think scoreboard works so well because I that kind of commentary fits in that environment like competitive battling yeah that's a good time to talk about what's going on in a battle because if you showed someone a competitive battle but you didn't discuss anything at all like you didn't say what's your strategy or anything like why why are you even showing me this battle then but with let's plays <laughs> I don't know, it just seems different to me. Like, everybody's played Pokemon Platinum before, like, man, well, I mean, everyone has a different take on... I Is this where I have to go talk to my mom? I think this is when I go talk to my mom. Is it? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is when I go talk to my mom, but... Well, I, I was gonna say, like, everybody's played Platinum before, but at the same time, I'm like, I want to do the dialogue and give her one personalities, although... I've literally ignored that so far, so I'm probably not going to end up doing that, and I'm sorry, and I might just throw in, like, on and off about that. I'm a horrible person like that, I have realized that, but... Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. 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 Mom, you have an issue. You sit in front of this TV all day. I haven't ate in freaking three weeks because you never make any sandwiches or anything. That wasn't meant in a sexist way. That's because she's my mom. She... Moms make their kids food. That's not sexist, that's parental, okay? Just saying, someone was probably gonna get on me about that. Mom, you have an issue. We gotta have some kind of intervention. Okay, I want my mom back. Welcome home, Hardy. I've been standing in front of you for like a minute now, and you just now recognize that I'm there because I pressed the A button. I, did I, what would happen if I shut up the TV? Would you got all Hulk Mona started crushing me? Rude. Take a quick rest. Why do I have to? Oh my gosh, she's putting me to sleep so she can go back to the freaking TV. You have issues, Mom. We need to take care of this. No, stop giving me shit. I'm not going to accept your gifts until I, I'll ignore your problems, okay? We got to talk about this. Please, oh, don't turn away from me, Mom. This is important. I know you don't want to hear this, but please, be a woman. Man up. Woman up. I don't know how that phrase works when it comes to, to girls. Oh, I'm just... Uh, stop changing the subject, Mom! You're addicted to Dr. Phil! Ah! Mom. 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 Great. More people. Whatever. Excuse me, is my little spizzle here? Oh, no he's not. Guys! Guys, I'm trying to have a... Whatever. Just fine. Fine. Whatever. It's Black Friday. Go shopping. Alright? I don't... Just get out of the house. Leave me alone. I want to watch TV sometimes too. Okay? I like TV. No, but I have to sit up in my room all day doing... Oh, I actually have a TV up there. Alright, you know what, Mom? I'm sorry. For the past 10 years of my life, I've done nothing but watch TV too because I'm not allowed to go outside because Angry Starways would probably kill me. You know what? 
I'm glad we reached the middle ground here. You could just keep doing Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why am I running your errands? I just barely learned how to go outside, and now all of a sudden I gotta walk over to this region trying to find your dumbass kid and give him something? I didn't agree to that, no. <sighs> Seriously, like, you're, this is the first time you're probably, like, ever being allowed to go out on your own, and some person's like, hey, I'm gonna have you travel, like, two towns over to a place you've probably never been before. And I'm gonna go make you deliver things for me. Like, are you... Do you not have a Pokemon? Are you not capable of go doing it in selfies? You're a stupid kid. You go find him. Jeez. <sighs> so insensitive, I tell you. Anyways, uh, we will probably end this episode after we get our starter Pokemon, which now we got... I am... Um, I'm gonna keep some rules similar to my Heart Gold Woodlock, where I'm gonna try not to use the speed button outside of battle because I just don't want this Let's Play to be by in, like, five parts. So... Um, we're only going to use it, and that was specifically one wonderful moment, which is, uh, speeding through stupid Dawn's tutorial. That made me really happy. I love seeing Bidoof get captured. I don't, I don't like seeing Bidoof get captured at all. Like, every time someone captures a Bidoof, I cry a little bit, because it's a Bidoof, and, I mean, what are you supposed to do with the thing? It's a Bidoofus, okay? Get over it. Whatever. Um, but, and... I haven't fully decided what I'm doing with battles yet. Um, I'm not going to play on set just because I suck when it comes to set. Like, I did a Pokemon X Nuzlocke on set. And because I was on set was the reason I lost. And it sucked. So, set can really screw you over. I, I probably have some kind of healing limit because I'm super against spamming potions and Nuzlocke. Like, I've done it in the past and it just takes all the fun and challenge out of it in my opinion. So, um... We'll probably do three healing items per battle, I guess. Wow, I wish these eggs weren't so far away. Um, I have no idea what's what here. I, but just in case, just just in case someone out there is like, oh, I bet he like purposely got this Pokemon, whatever. I'm just gonna randomly generate a number between one and twelve, and that will be our Pokemon. And that number is eleven. Awesome. I really hope. Like all I really care about is it's a water or a grass. Oh, I gotta keep in mind. I actually don't really need it to be a water or a grass type because we'll be getting more like random egg Pokemon. There's a good chance one of them could be water or grass types. So. I guess it's something I don't have to worry about. Also, I hope I put their happiness on zero, because if I didn't, I think I left their happiness on 70. Okay, I'll be right back. Never mind. Okay, that actually hatched really quickly. Our starter Pokemon is going to be... Ah, I'm so excited! Trico! Oh my god, yes! I know what I'm nicknaming it. The eggs, the starter eggs are the only ones that... Oh, by the way, I made them all shiny, because why not? But... Um, the starter eggs are the only ones that I, I'm gonna get a nickname, which is, this will be the only starter egg we're probably hatching. But of course, I gotta nickname it. I nicknamed this a Trico. I just played through Omega Ruby. I had Trico as my starter. I nicknamed it this. Probably one of the most popular Pokemon I had from my last egg lock, a Pokemon Emerald egg lock on my old channel. His nickname, of course, has to be... Lelouch. And hopefully for once, I can have a Trico that actually makes it to... Uh, a septile stage because like every Trico I've had has died as a girl bound it made me so sad but we now have a Trico and what special move did I give this Trico I gave him he has oh by the way they all have hardy nature because that's neutral they also all have random IVs um, I have no idea if your guys' eggs have random IVs I've, I didn't pay attention to IVs at all I usually just check to see if the Pokemon is like hatchable basically but um, they all have hardy natures random IVs no EVs and I gave him Double Kick. Okay, well, I mean, we're Grass types, so it probably doesn't matter against Rourke, but Double Kick will be cool for, like, Dark types. So, that's what I gave him. So, um, let's level him up to level 6 really quickly as I do the outro, I suppose, because that is going to do it for us today, guys. In the next episode, we will be making our way to Jubilife City. I think I actually got that right. I'm really bad with any town names, like, besides... I'm good with Hoenn. I'm good with Kanto. I'm... I'm okay with Johto, um, for the most part I, I can usually remember some of Johto's, don't even ask me about Unova, like I know like three or four cities in Unova, and um, like never ask me about Kalos, I can barely remember Lumia City in Kalos, that's like the only town I remember besides like Sai H Town or something like that, and, and Sinnoh is like just as bad, I need to go like all the way to box, like whatever the final box is, box 18, okay. No, this is, no, this is going to be our dead Pokemon, so we won't box 17 as our voucher Pokemon. So, Piplup, thank you for bringing me here. I'm sad because one of my friends' mascot is Piplup, so I kind of miss you already. But that is going to do it for us today, guys. Remember, of course, if you enjoyed this video and are excited for this new egg lock, definitely make sure to show your support by clicking the like button down below, because we do have a goal. If you guys want a Pokemon showdown scoreboard 12 hours from now, just saying. Um... But until then, make sure to go check out Blacklight Attack, the guy who inspired this egg lock. But I'm already thank yo-yo. 
I, I just gotta end this already. I keep coming up with more things to say. Like, right now, I just keep talking. Hardy, quiet, go, okay.